Maria, we have some special guests we here do. in our in our office. Uh, two very beautiful young women. But first, we're going to introduce Rick Williams with the Reading Rodeo Association. Rick, you're going to tell us, uh, these young women are doing something in the community. Can you uh, give us a little intro, let us know what's up? Sure. They're helping me out with our uh, advertising this year. And uh, what we've been doing is making videos for Facebook. And uh, they've been interviewing um, all of our committee people through the Rodeo Association. And then we went to the Red Bluff Rodeo, and they interviewed the announcers and the bullfighter, and a couple cowboys and their committee people down there. And they've done about 18 of them so far, and they're doing a fantastic job. And if you haven't looked them up on YouTube, they're under a Reading Rodeo on YouTube, Hannah and Brianna. And uh, like I say, they've done about 18 of these videos, and they are good. Great. Well, we're going to ask Hannah and Brianna a couple of questions. But, you know, Rick, uh, hang around because we're going to want to ask you some questions about the rodeo because that's coming up too. Maria, so many things are coming. Now, Maria, Wind River's part of the, part of the rodeo association too, I imagine. Yeah, we've hosted several rodeo events at Wind River Casino and we've hosted in the past the rodeo event itself. Great. So, Rick, if you can let us talk to the uh, young women and then give us some info about uh, Reading Rodeo, I'm sure our folks uh, we'll want to know about that. Also, uh, if anybody else has anything going on, uh, give us a call at 530-605-4567. That's 530-605-4567. Okay, so we've got Hannah and Brianna. Which one's Hannah? I'm Hannah. And I'm Brianna. Hey, Hannah and Brianna. So um, I'm not quite sure that I understand what your project is. So you're making films and you're putting them on YouTube or on Facebook? Or what, what exactly are you doing? Tell me in a way that I can understand what it is that you're doing. Well, Reading Rodeo has a Facebook and a YouTube channel, and we interview cowboys and other important people at the rodeo to help advertise for the Reading Rodeo so people get kind of like bloopers of what's coming up. So you're filmmakers. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. You are. Some great so, so, so t- tell me, what is it that, that gave you this idea? What made you decide to do something like this? Well, just um, Reading Rodeo, mm-hmm. they al- al- they've they always had a channel, but we didn't really put anything up. Maybe just clips of some barrel racing or roping, stuff like that. But we, there was really nothing on the channel, and we wanted to give them stuff to look forward to and just keep them informed. And keep them informed, like like how what 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 sort of information you put out there, like what announcers will be at the Reading Rodeo mm-hmm. that have they've seen around, like Bob Tallman. We had the honor to interview him, and um, Wayne Brooks, but like what they can expect to see at the Reading Rodeo that they've seen around the nation. Great. So, wh- wh- how you had this stroke of genius? How, what made you guys decide to do this? Um, well, Rick Williams here with us today. He okay. got the brilliant idea. So it's Rick's brilliant idea, and you carried it out. Yeah. So, Rick, is it because they know how to use the technology better than you do? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, social media is the wave of advertising these days, so we figured we'd plug into that and see if we can make it happen. And we way far exceeded what I was hoping for. Because these two girls are great. So tell us uh, if we wanted to look at the at the, any of these sites, how do we get on there? You would go to readingrodeo.com or mm-hmm. you would look us off, up on Facebook or on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel. And then I will go straight to you. How many uh, of these little vignettes do you have up there? Um, we've done about 18. Wow. How long are they? Each one. Well, we try to keep them like between 30 seconds to a minute and a half, but there was one video with Bob Tallman that was absolutely amazing, and it was over 10 minutes. Cool. Uh, yes, everybody, that's that's Rick that's got his phone on there, but we're okay, Rick. We'll let you get away with it this like one Jaws. time. Okay, so um, which was, so your favorite uh, little vignette that you filmed so far? What's your fa- what's your favorite, Hannah? Um, probably definitely Bob Tallman. He was just amazing and hilarious, and yeah, he, we got the honor to interview him. He was, <laughs> yeah. And Brianna, what's been your favorite? What made you, what I, did you like? I've enjoyed them all, but Bob Tallman, that one was really inspirational. So what is it about him that, that you, you guys like so much? Well, he's just like, he's really into like faith, and he's just 
so just like true to what he believes in, mm-hmm. and it's pretty amazing. So are the two of you friends? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, how long have you been known each other? Well, since the beginning of the last year, we ride on the Reading Junior Rodeo Association drill mm. team. Okay. Oh, nice. Boy, these are some future community leaders right yeah, here. Yeah, they are. You can already tell. How old wow. are you guys? I'm 11. I'm 12. Congratulations. What schools do you go to? I go to Sequoia Middle School. Uh-huh. And I go to West Cottonwood Junior High. West Cottonwood Junior yeah. High. So um, so what are you guys going to be doing? What, what can we expect to see from you next? I mean, bigger and better things. What do you guys have planned? Um, just more interviews and more top cowboys and Reading Rodeo. There's going to be a lot of news updates then. Okay, so and then I, I take it that you guys also ride. Yeah. And um, any 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 sort of uh, tricks and stunts that you guys like to do? Are you are you ready for that yet? Yeah, actually, we have a competition coming up this weekend in series. Tell me about it. What are you going to do? Well, we ha- we are going to perform um, three drills over the series of two days that the competition goes on. And we have a team of 12, and it's a really great team. We all love each other, and we come together, and it's like a big family. Amazing group of girls. Wow. Well, you're two amazing girls yeah. your own self. You know, Marie, I'm kind of impressed. I'm We've got some, very impressed. Some young filmmakers here that yeah. are going to be doing some, some really good things. Um, you know, uh, Rodi is always uh, great uh, when it comes to town. I mean, I can't think of any tradition that's been around longer. Uh, than the than the rodeo here, uh, it's a it's a really good reflection of our community. A lot of people come out, a lot of tourists uh, come for the uh, rodeo too. Uh, Rick, we're going to ask you. You know what, what can we expect at the rodeo this year? Uh, when's it happening, and uh, what do you got going? Well, Reading Rodeo is always in the top fifty rodeos in the nation out of about six hundred rodeos, and uh, this year we're we're hosting the first ever Champions Challenge which is a, a rodeo all on its own. It's like a national finals rodeo all wrapped up into one day. Mm-hmm. And we'll be having that on Saturday this year. And uh, we have guaranteed seven of the top cowboys and cowgirls in every event. And then uh, the eighth one is whoever's leading in the point standing at PRCA at the time. The ninth one will be whoever's leading in the silver tour standings, which are normal three-day rodeo is a silver tour rodeo. And then the 10th one will be whoever won our event last year. So, and because of that, those Cowboys that are going to be at our Champions Challenge have signed up to do our three-day rodeo, too, Mm -hmm. because they're already in town. So, um, it's going to be an amazing year of rodeo and ready. And there's no good day or bad day. Um, It's Wednesday through Saturday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday will be family nights. All grandstand seating is general admission price, and uh, there's not a bad seat in the house if you've ever been to Reading Rodeo. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's going to be a good time, and uh, we've priced it so it'll be affordable um, with a general admission ticket um, for an adult. You kids will get in free on Wednesday and Thursday night. Both. That's nice. And uh, it'll be the rodeo that you want to see. I mean, this is history-making this Saturday rodeo is because there's only going to be four of them in the nation this year, and we're the first. So nice. rodeo week is 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 coming up. Um, so we've got the uh, we got the kickoff barbecue and dance that's coming up on the 11th. Yes, and then uh, and then the bank hold up. Everybody loves that. That's mm-hmm. going to happen on the on the 13th and and the judging special kids day is on May 14th. Yes, it's Tuesday morning. And then I understand you also got a chili cook off. That's happening on the 14th? Yeah, that's happening on the 14th. Actually, our special kids day is, uh, yeah, it is, special kids day is Tuesday. And then, uh, the, uh, Western Heritage Day that we started a few years ago is going to be on Wednesday morning. And that's where we invite, uh, school age kids from kindergarten through seventh grade, I believe, to come down and sit and watch Slack. And we put on, uh, specialty acts for them. The junior drill team will perform. And, uh, the juniors will also be performing during the uh, performance, the regular rodeo performance on Wednesday night, which is something that we threw in there this year because they're so good. Mm. <laughs> and uh, normally it would be the Reading Rodeo senior team that would do that. And uh, well, all three drill teams will be performing all 
four nights. This well, is, the seniors won't. You know, this is pretty amazing. I mean, you know, you folks, I mean, it's not just a rodeo. I mean, Maria, there is, like, just solid stuff going on for, like, nine straight days. When, when do, you guys, do you guys sleep at all during this period, or do you just go, go, go? No, starting about January 1st, we're down there twice a week at drill practice. Right. And, uh, no, this is where it gets crazy, especially for those of us that have three or four committees. I mean, it gets pretty crazy. No rest. No, no <laughs> rest you know until, until, until it's over. Pancake breakfast. Oh, yeah. yes. So uh, I. Yummy pancakes. Right, right out there in front, of, and that's, you know, right in front of the Cascade Theater. Mm, Everything yes. just is, is working together today, and, and that's the Absolutely. way this community is. You know, everybody comes together. Hannah and Brianna, anything less left to say to the crowd? Um, check us out on Facebook and RedingRodeo.com, and don't forget to stay tuned for more Hannah and Brianna Rodeo updates. You guys are great. I love wow. you. Wow. This is KCNR, 1460 AM. We'll be right back. <laughs> 